that's what's making the noise. All right, so I'm gonna make a video that's going to possibly help some people who struggle with this thing that I had so much resistance with. I did not break through yet, but I can get to the middle ground as, as fast as I can. All right, so what is this about? Um, long time ago, I made some videos on astral projection on, on, on how to um, do it a bit, I believe, right? There's much better guides online, like literally the guided meditation, you know, pick one of the first ones that type in, you know, type in guided astral projection. The, on the first page, there's like really good ones, right? Use that. The difference I am facing from a little tweak, okay, lately, just by doing this is immense, okay? So this is how it really goes, right? So you're doing everything, you know, let's say you're half an hour into the attempt, meditation, whatever you call it, right? And you are feeling that you're into that zone, right? You're in that zone. Right. If you tried it, you know what I'm talking about. Your body's so still. Everything's heavy. Right. You feel that this the 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 gray area coming between your body knowing you sleep and um, you know if you're asleep or not. Your body's like confused right now. Like your body's confused. Like you don't know. Your eyes are closed. You feel like an abyss. Difference. You're in that zone. Right. Now, there's few steps that few stages that will come between that right the main thing okay that is gonna ruin your entire attempt is the freak out right so this is exactly what it looks like right for me and it's gonna be different for, different for a lot of people because I believe it depends a lot on your physiology and things like that but for me this is exactly what happens every time now so I'm in that zone and then suddenly <sighs> Just shit starts to happen. The abyss, purplish colors start to come. Um, my body gets tingly as shit, right? My my toes get so tingly, I almost want to move them to see like if I still have control because I've been keeping them so still. I almost want to move it a bit to to still make like make me sell, make me feel okay that um, I still have control that I can move it, right? But you don't need to do that. Because once you do that, you start fucking up with that whole thing, right? So that starts to come. My, my feet gets really tingly. My arms get tingly. My back gets really tingly. Um, my head space, it literally feels like my head has things moving in it, kind of, right? Like sensations and stuff. And at the same time, I start to feel very heavy and light at the same time. Literally as if some crazy shit's about to happen. It's, it's insane. Like it, it gets really intense, right? Um, you start seeing colors and that heaviness comes. Now, I told you that I haven't breakthrough yet, but I'm sure what else would it be, right? This is where you break through. This is when you, if you can still keep the focus, you're going to get out of it. You're going to leave your body straight up, right? And the tip that I use to hold this, right? So before what would happen, this would come and I would, would kind of like freak out a little bit. Freak out, it's not always like, <gasps> and you wake up. Freak out can be just like, Whoa, these things are happening and you lose the focus of what technique you're using. So my technique is always the same. I'm using the I'm using the rope. Imagining the rope is above me that I'm gonna pull myself out of this body, right? And um, I lose that focus, right? So my technique for keeping this intense stage when it comes in to keep it longer and longer, because that's what's happening now. I went from like it coming in and leaving, now I can hold it for like what it seems to be like two, three minutes at least, right? Um, is no matter what happens, you know, you just put as much attention to the detail of the rope as possible. Okay? Look at some pictures of ropes before, right? Look at a rope, look at everything you remember for it, it'll help you, right? Now, depending on the technique you use, I use rope, right? And when everything starts to happen, all that um, stimulus, right? Well, basically what your body is doing, in my understanding, is like, it's like checking. Like, is this guy fucking awake or asleep? Let me just like put some tests and see if it reacts. If he doesn't react to it, this motherfucker is asleep, but you're actually not because your consciousness is awake. But, <laughs> so what you do is you stay stiller than ever in the whole attempt, right? Then don't even gulp. Like if your mouth gets dry, there's another problem I have. My mouth gets dry and I gulp. And 
I don't think the gulp is a big problem. The problem is the focus that you took away from the thing and, and you focused on you gulped. That's the problem, right? So if that happens, I don't know, have a sip of water before you start you know, laying down and stuff like that, whatever it is, you put immense detail on the rope that's hanging above you, right? Immense detail, the shape of it, the little curve of it, the exact fibers that are sticking out of it, how real it looks, almost as if it's like more HD than real life itself, right? And you try to keep focusing on it and it'll elongate that stage where you're having all that stimulus. Now, my idea is that once you're having it for a while and you really feel it that you got this, this stage is not going to leave that easy, you're in this, then reach out and do it a step by step with the same amount of detail, each finger grabbing the rope, then another hand grabbing the rope and then feel it all out, right? That's my plan. I didn't get to that stage yet because after two, three minutes, it did die down, right? I lost focus and stuff, but I just wanted to share um, how to keep that stage from going from when it first comes to just leaving because that's what I had trouble with the longest time. And now I can, I know how to continuously keep it, right? It's just on the detail. No matter what stimulus happens, keep your laser focus on the detail of the rope and you'll be eventually, I believe, able to pull your stuff out. All right, so I'll keep you tuned. Peace.